Imagine going to your favorite restaurant. You walk through the front doors, the hostess sits you down, and you start flipping through the menu. You find your favorite item, and then you, as a client, request your favorite item to your server, who then goes on to fulfill your request. This idea really puts together in a nutshell the client-server relationship in IT. Every network-based application has a client and a server. That client is typically requesting, just like we would at a restaurant to our server, is requesting some type of service to a server. The server will then fulfill the request or serve the request. This is why it's called a server. In this video, we're going to really dive deep into that concept and to understand some of the more common client server applications out there. Regardless of what part of IT you're in or you're trying to get into, you're going to need to know client server applications. Whether you're writing code as a programmer or keeping the network secure as a network security analyst or just supporting users like an IT support specialist, you will need to understand that there are network aware applications on the network that have a client and a server side. These are four of some of the most common client server applications I've come across. There are far more than this, but these are the ones that I've spent a lot of time supporting, starting with the web application server. The web application server is really a hybrid a web being that it delivers a web page over the network. Application being that with that web page is an application, right? Here's a couple of examples. Office 365 is Microsoft's cloud-based productivity suite. You know Microsoft Office, like Word and PowerPoint and Excel. Well, you can actually nowadays just log into a website, portal.office.com, and use that whole Office suite, like Word, uh, in your browser. You don't have to install the programs on your computer anymore to use them. Disney Plus, this is a fascinating thing for me is this whole streaming revolution and, and Disney Plus isn't the only one of course. We've got Netflix and then a, your music streaming as well. What that is, is a web app that essentially allows you to access a video library and stream videos through your browser or through an app on an Apple TV or a streaming device um, that you know essentially works like a browser. Stadia is, is one of the newer innovations, and I know gaming ha, uh, streaming has been around for a while, but Google has really taken it public. Uh, Google Stadia allows you to stream blockbuster video games all in your browser. You really don't even need a powerful computer to play these like graphically intensive games. You you just need a browser and an internet connection. All of these cloud-based services run on a cloud platform. I've got the three most popular, popular listed uh, in this slide here. Uh, AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform are really the biggest. AWS, being Amazon Web Services, is the most popular. Azure is Microsoft's cloud, and of course, Google Cloud Platform is Google. So a Stadia will run on a Google Cloud. Um, domain Name System. Now, the domain name system is a, a application that really, it works in the background. No matter what you're doing, you know, in browsing the internet, uh, it allows you to look up websites using a name. It resolves name to IP address. So if I were to type in uh, the name of a website, it actually resolves to an IP. Dy uh, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, or DHCP, leases out IP addresses to devices that ask for them on the network. File servers. These are really important, especially if you're supporting a network, a, a LAN. Um, really, no matter what you're supporting, you're going to come across file servers. And, and what does that do? It's a, it's a server that hosts very critical files, business critical files, that people can access on to collaborate over the network. I've seen file shares in, you know, in folders, you know, and really that's what it is, is a shared folder that hosts like a database of all, you know, critical information to a business. And, and all of these are on a network. So in this next portion, we're going to go ahead and look a little bit closer at this web application process. Follow along.